Donald Trump on board for baby stepping into socialized medicine. Either he doesn't know he's on board for it, or he's an idiot, which is probably the case. <laughs> Donald Trump is now a big fan of Obamacare. He said it, not me. He, he loves it. He loves Obamacare. This is shocking to you, I'm sure. But yeah, he, he is super on board for it. This is his truth tweet thing from his website, Truth Social, where he uh -huh. says, I am not running to terminate ACA as crooked Joe Budden disinformates and misinformates all the time. I'm running to close the border, stop inflation, make our economy great, strengthen our military, and make the ACA or Obamacare, as it's known, much better, stronger, and far less expensive. In other words, make the ACA much, much, much better for far less money or cost to the great American citizens who've been decimated by Biden, his record inflation, bad economy, Afghanistan catastrophe, and just about everything else. Crooked Joe Biden is by far the worst president in the history of the United States. Mega 2024. Okay, great. He's not running to terminate ACA. Is this more of that shit talk that he likes to do? Or is he really on board for ACA Obamacare? Well, even back in um, his last presidency, they... They didn't actually try to terminate Obamacare. Yeah, they did. Um, they, they were taking parts was, out of it out. I it was believe. one vote away. John McC John McCain's one vote was the one vote that that, that stopped it from being completely removed. Uh, are you sure that wasn't just a reworking of it? I'm pretty sure that was the one thing that would remove it entirely. But and because they were all very mad at John McCain, they were, they were all screaming at him about how he didn't vote the way they wanted him to. Also, he promised to repeal it many, 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 many times. He looked into the camera. He said, I will repeal Obamacare. We are going to repeal Obamacare. We're going to repeal it. We're going to replace it. Repeal and replace was his stump speech. He never told us what he was going to replace it with because he doesn't have any actual ideas. And his fans also don't have any ideas on how to replace it. But repeal was the word they used. That's not a word I chose for them. That's the, chose, the word they chose. Is he on board for Obamacare? Is, is this the new super cool Trump that I have to support now? Uh, Push, pushing, pushing for socialist I, medicine? I think that your um, idea of o Obamacare being uh, strengthened is not the same as his idea. Well, okay, so what does he mean? Oh god, this, is, this, this only gets worse. So when he says strengthen Obamacare, he means remove important oh, no parts idea. of it? I, I, no one Probably. knows what he's talking about. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that is one of my biggest complaints about him, is that nobody knows what the hell he's talking about. If he's strengthening it, and making it cost less to the American people. That's exactly what the people who created it wanted it to do. The plan for the ACA, AKA Obamacare, was to get the people on board, subsidize it by the government. Hopefully, maybe that would actually baby step insurance companies into lowering the prices. And if they didn't lower the prices because they now they have fewer customers, right? Then more people would have to be thrown off of the private insurance. Those people are now without insurance, they would go to the Obamacare uh, markets, they would get what they want and get what they need, and that would lower, again, the amount of people in private insurance, which means they have to raise their prices, which means people can't afford it, which means they come to the uh, Obamacare thing again and again and again, and it's a cycle where it, private insurance shrinks and shrinks and shrinks and shrinks and shrinks, and shrinks, and shrinks until only the really rich can afford it, and the public options in the uh, uh, public Obamacare gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and has more people paying into it, which means it's more usable because there's a larger pool of people from which to draw from. That sounds terrible. How does that sound terrible? That sounds like a great fucking plan. I'm not even kidding. That's amazing. That is how actual insurance should work. Why, what's terrible um, about that? Well, because I don't trust the government to run anything efficiently. And this is essentially uh, baby stepping into, you know, our universal healthcare system. Yes, great plan, good job. High five. Let's baby step people into universal health care. I'm not even kidding. I'm not being facetious. Do that. Yes. Donald Trump I is on board. we've had this debate before. Donald Trump is on board for it. He wants it to be cheaper for the people. Donald Trump on board for baby stepping into socialized medicine. Either he doesn't know he's on board for it, or he's an idiot, which is probably the case. He doesn't know what he's for. He doesn't know what he's against. He has no principles. He has no values. He has only tomorrow's headline. That's all he has is tomorrow's headline. That's all he's got. Beyond that, he is blind. This I can certainly tell you one area where there's no way it's uh, supported, which would be an, an individual mandate, which I believe got uh, struck down very early on, which right. is one of the key components of your of the plan 
for the ACA as it was originally designed. That, that individual mandate was suggesting that you had to have some sort of health insurance. I don't care either way. If, if you have an individual mandate, fine. If you don't, fine. Uh, I'm, it's not something that some hill I want to die on uh, for or against. If there are people who choose not to have health insurance, that is fine with me. Uh, but if the government says, hey, everybody has to have one some because if you don't, it harms the system, I can be on board with that as well. This was the individual mandate, you're right, was a very big uh, talking point for the, the Republican types. And I don't entirely know why. Well, it's essentially if you mandate that people have health insurance, even if they don't want it, it becomes essentially a tax on something that's not a, a privilege, right? Something it's, that's not a privilege. So, for example, why are we, we allowed to mandate uh, that you have liability insurance for your car before you go drive it? Well, because if you hurt somebody with your car, you need to be able to, what word am I missing here? Recompense them. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that works. Recompense them. Um, but not having health insurance, it, having health insurance is not tied to any particular privilege. It's literally, I'm alive right now. Um, the privilege is being able to see a doctor. Being able uh, to see a doctor. Insurance isn't about keeping you healthy. It's about seeing a doctor. But you, you still can see a doctor without insurance. Not if you can't afford it or not if you can't get in or they won't take you because you don't have insurance there are doctors who don't accept patients if they don't have insurance you can still see a doctor if you don't have insurance you can see a doctor if you can find one sure and you can pay a lot of money for it if that's the life you choose i'm okay with you choosing that but i'm okay sure. with the government also saying hey there's a system in place and we all need to follow the system and the system benefits people and is a better situ situation altogether, honestly. I, I'm, I'm okay with having an individual mandate that you have to sign a paper to get out of. I'm okay with that. That's the system I would suggest anyway. If you really... Uh, see, I don't understand why it always... It, you always seem to err on the side of um, you have to opt out rather than opt in. Why? Yeah, because there's only two options, man. There's a government running it ineff inefficiently, or there's a company running it for obscene profit. Those are your two options, boss. You're choosing obscene profit every time, and I'm choosing government inefficiency. There is no third option. There is no other way. Uh, if there's another way, if there's another, if there's a third option, I'd, I'd listen to it. But it always comes down to those two. The government running it inefficiently, or a, a company running it for obscene profit. Uh, and yeah, opt out. So you're right. Um... Because most people won't go through the extra steps because they don't actually care that much. This individual mandate that's so enraged the Republicans, they don't actually give a shit. They're just poking holes. They're just poking the bear. They're just pointing at shit that they don't like. They're not actually offering a, 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 an alternative. They're not making anything better. They're just talking shit. I don't agree. <laughs> do do I, I it... have health insurance? Yes. Do you? Yes. But why do we have it? Because it's intelligent. It's a good fucking choice, right? It is a good choice, isn't it? Sure. Okay. And if you want to willingly and intentionally make the choice to not do the smart, intelligent, well thought out thing, you can, but I want you to have to clear a hurdle to do that. Well, see, but here's the thing is that it depends on your age and whatnot in terms of and your relative level of health in terms of whether or not health insurance is a good idea in the first place. Mm -hmm. And what level of it do you have in the first place? Mm -hmm. Choices I mean, to be made. Okay. What's good for a 20-year-old, you know, fit young man to uh, have in terms of his health care is not the same as what, what's good for a 60-year-old, you know, or a 70-year-old. I, I agree, which is why they should make the choice. And if that choice is, I refuse to be a part of the system, then they have to just sign a piece of paper that says that. I'm all right with that. I'm okay Do with their it. taxes or whatever their premium thing. Do they not have to pay that then? Do they not have to pay the premium? If they don't want health coverage, then they can opt out of that. Fine. I'm okay with that. But they have can to they sign a piece of paper. Can they opt out of any taxes that go towards the ACA? Can they opt out of any taxes that go towards the ACA? Probably not. I don't get to opt out of taxes for... Uh, foreign wars and you don't get to opt out of taxes that go towards a, a border that isn't being uh, enforced pro the way you want it to you don't get to choose which taxes will go where you can well, almost yeah, but i can choose. elect the lawmakers that decide sure what we spend that money on sure and right now there is a lawmaker uh -huh. uh, named donald trump who's all on board <laughs> 
with the ACA. He loves it. He wants some more of it. He wants to make it cheaper for people. If we f listen to the words that Donald Trump just typed, and this is a few days old, but if we listen to the words that he typed there, he wants All to make it cheaper. I'm not running to terminate the ACA. He doesn't want to terminate it anymore, which is a change on his part. I'm suggesting that he's flip-flopped on that, which is acceptable. I want him to flip from his bad positions to good ones. This is good. Uh, if he makes it cheaper for the American people, how does he make it cheaper for the American people? Let's let's say that he uh, wants to make it cheaper. How does he do that? Let's see. I do wonder if he has it listed on his platform. Well, I... It, it maybe it is maybe it isn't I don't know his platform is whatever he's currently fucking saying he could go back on this tomorrow and probably will if somebody points it out to him yeah, it's probably not on his uh, campaign uh, website Starry Sig I bet you're right uh, and Thomas it's probably not on his on his thing so he's just talking shit no it's on there okay it's better on health care better health care choices at lower costs but it doesn't have anything about um, ACA in it except for into eliminating the individual mandate which they already uh, did they already did yeah it's it's a list of all the stuff that he did for health care while he was in office so which donald trump to address the one from last year it says or the one... medical billing uh increase fairness through price transparency reduce the cost of prescription drugs and health insurance premiums and protect medicare social security and patients with pre-existing conditions that's what's on his website okay great he wants to lower the cost of the aca how does he do so oh i have no idea I don't write these fucking laws. <laughs> well, how could he do so? We're, we're pontificating. Uh, in chat, uh, you can't really expect him to follow through with what he says a lot of the time? Then why vote for him? Uh, he never really has, but if people want to do something to grab onto it, it isn't there, there on the site for sure. He never says exactly how he's going to do things either. I agree with you, Stary. He doesn't say specifics. He talks in... I think Stary is agreeing with you. All uh, right, yeah, I know. And, and I'm agreeing with you, but... Why would somebody vote for that? Why would we vote for the guy who can't do the things that he's promising? Does, promises something different tomorrow. Promises di something different from what he promised four years ago. Four years ago, he promised to get rid of it. Now he's saying he's going to make it better. He's full of shit. We shouldn't pay attention to him. He should not be leading the country. That's the point that I'm going to get to. Uh, but if we're still pontificating, Thomas, how would we increase or decrease the amount of, that people have to pay for the ACA? I can think of a couple of ways. Have more people in, in it so that they each pay a little bit less uh, because it's this giant pool, right? That's how the insurance, I, that's the, how the idea of insurance works is that the thousands of people pay in every month and then the ones who need it take from it or the government spending money on it. Those are the only ways that I can think of. Uh, he probably hasn't thought of that. You're right. And uh, I think Stary's agreeing with me that he hasn't thought about those things. But I think well, it's great. He doesn't great. have to, though. He doesn't have to. <laughs> but he doesn't have to think about laws and uh, the the future of the country and how things are going to operate and run in the future. Well, just like with most presidents lately, mostly the laws are written by some interns and then the cliff notes are given to all the politicians. And this goes for everyone in, in office right now. And then the cliff notes are given to them and then they, they say yes or no. I'd agree with that. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me that... Um the individual senators don't read literally every single line on the on the on the bill they're, they're very long uh, they they figure out what the what the gist is they figure out the the best parts the worst parts the the ups the downs the uh pros and the cons and then they they vote on it or they try and uh, amend it to to get out the the con that they don't like the most that's fine i mean i don't see a problem with that 99 I mean, sure there's there's plenty of input you can get from you know experts in the field rather than having Donald Trump, who's never run insurance before, actually come up with the ways to make it cheaper. Okay. Um, I agree. Uh, check on the experts. Find out what uh, what would actually make it work. What would make it better. I believe we have to pass it first to know what's in it was uh, spoken by Nancy Pelosi. Eh, I know. She's <laughs> she's dumb, though. No, I was responding to Stary. Oh, okay. I forgot. <laughs> so we have to pass it first. Oh, yeah, it was. Uh, it, was. It, it was. It was definitely Nancy Pelosi. We have to find out. We have to pass the bill to find out what's in the bill. That's not true. It's never been true. <laughs> like, I don't... She was just drunk that day. It's fine. Uh, she was having a senior moment. It happens. Uh, if we had fewer seniors in there, there would, there would be fewer se senior moments. So that would be nice, too. Is anybody going to pay attention to this? Do I... Is, it, I, do, I haven't heard anybody talking about him tweeting this. Well, is it, it wasn't just, tweeted. It was on True it Social, was, which nobody's on. Okay. <laughs> I Where mean, he... unless you're on Facebook with uh, a lot of older folks... Uh, you probably didn't hear about this at all. I didn't. I know. That's what's killing me. Is 
this entire political system that we have, I'm paying attention to, I'm looking at the things. Donald Trump himself is literally telling us his secret inner thoughts. They're insane and no one notices. Oh no, he's just, I think he's playing to his base on Truth Social. How does Truth Social love ACA? They would hate it. They hate Obamacare. They'd scream bloody murder about having death panels. If you screamed about death panels, you're on Truth Social following Donald Trump. Okay. So maybe they disagree with him on this then. And and I but this is one of the biggest laws in the in the country. It literally touches everybody. The the individual mandate uh, applies to everyone. The ACA and the healthcare is one of the biggest damn things in, in in the world right now, and nobody cares that he's giving us his inner thoughts. And his inner thoughts are chaos. <laughs> oh hi! Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. The algorithm loves it when you watch it all the way to the end of the video. Uh, if you want to keep the algorithm happy, and I know you do, press the subscribe button, press the thumbs up button, leave a comment, tell me what you're thinking, tell me what you're feeling, and let's all keep that algorithm happy. Thanks. Have a good day.